Hey guys, this is Feeder, and welcome to another video portion of the Dressing.p. This is the Juggernaut edition. So today I am going to go over the Juggernaut set, mix and match set that I crafted for them. Um, if you are interested, you should absolutely go check out their podcast. It's wonderful. There will be a link in the description to that. And if you like the set, there's a way to win it. You've got a tweet at .p underscore show and tweet at me too because I love to see all these tweets. You've got to tweet every juggernaut deserves pantaloons. So if you don't get the joke, it's because you didn't listen to the show, so you should go do that. Anyway, I'll tell you in the set. So let's take a look at it. Um, I went for a colorful juggernaut theme. So for those of you that aren't very familiar with juggernaut items, most of the very old juggernaut sets are, have a lot of white and gray, very light colors, a lot of huge masks, um, let me show you an example. So stuff like this, got a big white mask with some white, with some red lines on it. Uh, something like this, huge white mask, a lot of stuff like that. Uh, some of the newer stuff, we have a little bit darker colors. Uh, mask of a Thousand Faces is a good example of that. And of course, a new Dota Cinnamon set has some darker themes in it too. So I decided that I didn't want to go with either of those. I wanted to do something a little more bright colorful, something that will look unique and different. So this is this is my juggernaut that I came up with. I chose the Auspicious Dragon Sword because I thought if I was doing a budget set, the place where you'd probably want to spend the money is on a really cool sword. This one ties a lot of the colors that I've got together. Um, you kind of got the yellow to match the skin tone, you've got the orange to go with like the accents on this uh, on the bracer feathers and also the back feathers here. And then the red works nicely. The stark red kind of goes with the pants. And then the lighter red goes with the hat and the bracers. So I thought it kind of tied everything together as well as looking super cool when you blade furies, which I will show you an in-grain preview of what that looks like. Uh, it lights it on fire. Looks great. So I was pretty excited about that choice. Um, I chose the Dota Cinema hat because it has a red glowy edge. Do I need another reason? Also because I really do like the round hats on Juggernaut. My other potential choice might have been Mask of the Wandering Demon, but it just doesn't look anywhere near as snazzy in game. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Alright, so for the arms and the back, I went with the Gifts of the Vanished Isle. I love these feathers. I think they stand out just enough uh, to sort of highlight those areas. I think these bracers are super well done. I think the lines on them look very nice and clean, and I love the gradient on the feathers. Pretty much uh, everything about that I found very aesthetically pleasing. The back piece I think looks really cool in game. You've got this big visual like hello on his back, which is very nice. And I also like the fact that the roundness here and the roundness on the hat sort of echo each other. I think it looks pretty good. I went with the pantaloons of the Blade Keeper, which is what you're tweeting about if you are tweeting. Partially because it has some really cool swords on it, partially because it's modeled very well, looks pretty realistic, and I just love these boots by the way. That little tiny flash of a lighter color as he's running around on the map is a good thing to have there. Gives a little, gives a little dynamic punch to the motion of him running around, I like that. And also, all the other pants that I tried just didn't look very good, so this was the this ended up being the, the choice that I went with. Uh, for a healing ward, I went with the Healing Fount of the Lost Isles. I think it's one of the better looking healing wards, and it kind of goes with my bright and colorful theme. It's a little bit more more exciting than, than the other couple of wards. So that is the set. Stick around, and I will show you how it looks in-game. Okay, so this is how the set looks from above. You can kind of see what I was talking about with that back piece and the hat. Kind of complementing each other like that. There's the Blade Fury. I think that looks so sick. Totally just makes the sword. Not that it doesn't just look good on its own merits, but having a little bit of an effect is nice too. Uh, this is a zoomed in view, so if you were kind of doing the hero, hero view mode. Um, and all in all, I just, I think this came out pretty well. I think it was a difficult set to do. I'm sure there are better looking combinations, maybe more theme combinations that you could do, but 
think this one looks unique and all in all I am very happy with it. Thanks so much for watching. Again, if you guys enjoyed the video, please let me know. Always love to hear it. Go ahead and don't forget to tweet at .p. Check out their show. It's really entertaining. It's worth a listen if you haven't heard it yet. Um, I will have a link to where you can find those episodes in the description. You can hear me on there too, because why not? It's always fun. Everyone have a wonderful weekend and a very happy Dota.